Bro, with all the hype that's going on with the club fragrances, Armafa stepping up to the plate, dropping a club de nuit oud. Look at the presentation that this joint has, looking like little terry cloth with a little bag and whatever. Club de nuit, a collector's pride. New, new upon new, new. But is this new, new any good? Let's roll, mom. I'm used to see if Armaf dropped the new banger with club de nuit oud. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. When I heard that there was a club in a week, ood, I jumped right on top of it and dry humped it. No, I'm kidding. I jumped right on top and purchased this joint. But I didn't understand this came with a little, look, it got the tassel on it. Wow, stepping up, big monies. Is this wood? Oh, I was about to get jerked from it and I was like, hey, yo, what's up with this? Look, it got the little faux wood action, the little fake laminate, like when you lived in the hood and you had the wood cabinets, but they were really like just stickers all over it. This is kind of that type of shit. Fake, 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 fake. Club? Denui Oud Parfums, a collector's pride. I'm definitely proud to have this. I ain't in all that fake shit. Why I gotta go with the fake wood? Y'all can just spring a couple bucks to just really like make it real. Ooh. Yo, this is like the nicest Club Denui presentation. What's this, a polishing cloth for the bottle? Like, what is that for? That clean glass? What are we doing here? All right, Club, a little pamphlet thing, who cares? It's got a little Info sheet there. Club de Nuit Oud Parfums. Experience the epitome of luxury with Club de Nuit Oud Perfume. Crafted with the atelier's wavering dedication to superior ingredients and exceptional artisanship. Bro, you probably cloned something, guy. This exclusive fragrance embodies opulence. Immerse yourself in the intoxicating blend of the highest quality oud, leaving a trail of captivating allure wherever you go. From the house of Sterling. Your man had like a whole, what's that shit called? Like mission statement introduction to a potential clone for- Look at how nice that box is though. Hey, hey. Listen, first we got that full wood joint, but look how nice that, hey, that's nice. Let's speak facts. They're getting a little Killy. Look, they took the Killian box, whoever the distributor was. They put a little Armaf on it with a little Marbells crazies. Coño, ta bien. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that, bro. Club de Noe Oud with the fancy cap and present it. Coño, and this wasn't like $200, like the key of whatever, those key collector joints. This looks fancier than those joints and it was cheaper. Now, I don't know how run this limited is. Is this, what is this little faux granite kind of? Feels kind of like a waffle cookie. Okay, I see you gangsta. It's got the little paper on it. Damn, fancy. Yo, I should have looked up notes of this joint. Let me see if I can find some. All right, so I was able to find the notes before we smell this fragrance because I'm very curious on what's going on with this joint. So apparently top notes are pineapple, bergamot. Here we go. Oh wait, peach, passion fruit, pear, and plum. Oh, we mad fruity on top. Is this from the West Village? Heart notes, jasmine, freesia, violet leaves, and cashmere wood. And the base is sandalwood, Cambodian oud, cypriol, crystal, amber, musk, and vanilla. This sounds wildly interesting. Did we just potentially discover the flyest club then we out in these streets? Now, what is it cloning or did they? I mean, stop the presses. If our moth is gonna start doing original blends in the affordable space, ah, uh, bro, game over. Now this fragrance wasn't super expensive, but it was still 80 something, 90 bucks. So it's not the cheapest, cheapest, but I mean, you're getting nice presentation at least with this joint. But let's jump right into the notes, bro. I'm very interested. Damn, no aeration in that line or whatever. Is this certified pre-owned? What are we doing here? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's get our first interpretation of Club Denu Wheat Ooh. Interesting. I'm getting a leatherier version of Herba Pura. Yeah, this is a stronger, denser version of Herba Pura. That's what I'm getting off of this fragrance. The fruitiness, that combination of the plum, the freesia, the passion fruit, the pineapple, the peach, all those fruity nuances on paper scream Herba Pura. But it's got a leather consistency there. As far as oud is concerned, I'm not really getting that. 
not at least on paper, dry leather herba pura. Very fruity, musky, but the fruitiness here is actually more tolerable than herba pura. If you don't know about herba pura, it's a fantastic fragrance, but it can be very much in your face. The fruitiness is just very scratchy, violent chick, like beating you because she looked through your phone and you were double tapping, liking, you know, these chicks and thongs and shit like that, and she discovered your OnlyFans account and all that weird shit. I'm not speaking from personal experience, I'm just throwing hypotheticals out there. <laughs> I mean, all I'm getting is straight Herba Pura style energy. It's not bad at all, honestly. I like Herba Pura. If it's actually a little bit better, and the fact that Herba Pura is just too jarring and sweet muskiness on top, and it becomes a little abrasive. But this joint, I mean, I like so far everything that's going on. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping the gun. Let me see what it does on the skin, and then we can give it a mild applause. It's gotta be Herba Pura. But it's also got a little bit of a fruity chewing gum. Yeah, sweet bubble gumish scent. So all those fruity notes that are mentioned up top, the plum accent actually comes up, but it feels like a red piece of bubble gum. You're chewing on a red piece of bubble gum with a mild muskiness, a little bit of a, not leather, more suede kind of vibe. You do get the woody essences. I barely get any sort of presence of oud in here. I don't know where they're getting that. I'm getting fruity, bergamot, a little bit, peach I'm getting, plum I'm getting, passion fruit I'm getting, pineapple I'm getting, freesia I'm getting, suede I'm getting, woods I'm getting, musk I'm getting. It doesn't feel like a grenade off the skin, doesn't feel like a slouch either, but the, the only thing that I can personally like instantly compare it to is Herba Pura by Zerzhov. It's nice, I think it's very good. I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's a little bit more tolerable than Herba Pura. It doesn't feel like it's a performance beast. I think it's a lot of presentation for a nice fragrance, but I like the direction that I Moth went with this with all the clones coming out in different presentations and, and features and all these bells and whistles that these clone brands are trying to do at an affordable price point. Although this one's on the higher tier of affordability, they put some thought process into this joint. I like that they stepped away from the whole Creed lineup, thank God, and they went with very nice cap, handsome bottle, keeping up with the same motif, beautiful box presentation that was dope, very Killian esque. This faux wood box, all these little trinkets and accessories that you're gonna to pay 90 bucks for. Listen, I've paid a lot more for a lot less. I'm not mad at this fragrance. I would rate this joint a solid seven. I don't think it's bad. I'm glad they veered away from Creed. It's got a cleanliness. It's got a soapiness. It's got a fresh out of the shower body wash. Like you used your shorties body wash sensation. I give it a ball spray, a strong seven. This is fun. This is fun. This is playful. I think it'll drop in price a little bit, but I'm here for it. I'm glad Club de Nuit is stepping outside of their comfort zone and tapping into other clone brands. I think Herba Buddha was a strong selection but I think the Haramain one has a little bit of a leg up as far as being as close as it. Maybe they're not going for the Herba Pura clone vibe, but I don't know what else comes to my brand than that. But I'm gonna give it a bowl spray, I like it. Now I bought this joint at, I believe it's called Best Brands. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested. I don't know how limited this release is, but it is around 85 or $90. Listen, I'm not mad at it. I don't think it's amazing and oh shit, the craziest out there, but it's definitely not bad. And a breath of fresh air for the house of our mouth. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Have you tested this joint out? Did you hear anything about it? And is it in fact Herba Buddha on a budget? I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Smooth. He don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>